Okay, we're back onto the siren after a while of just doing planking. Didn't record the planking because it's like watching paint dry. But you see I got it all on here? Um, previously I said I was taking the wood and I was laying and cutting with a knife to get this taper in there. You can see it's not coming out good on that, but I changed how I was doing the taper further down the ship. And what I did is instead of using a knife, I would take my piece of wood, roughly fit it, mark out where I want to taper it from, and I'd grab my little block plane here, a little two-inch block plane, and just plane it down, starting out where I marked. Do a couple swipes, and every swipe after that, you go a little bit shorter until you get to the end, and then repeat it. Do that, and you get a nice curved taper on it. So it's about half the width of the board here as it is here. With that, so you able to get these nice curved um, planks as you see here and they fit together more snugly. I'm not worried about the gaps here because they'll be filled with some filler, never be seen once it's painted and coated in copper. Star sanding this side is looking pretty good. Some bumps in it still. I need to take down some high spots. Go back here in the middle front's looking pretty good it's just about ready to be um, have some wood filler put on it right now I'm on the last plank of the ship the one that is traditionally called the whiskey plank I already have it shaped out here fit in and it just goes in beautifully so with that I can go ahead and glue it in just run some super glue in there figure out which way the board goes and just stick it in here let it start gluing down on the bow. And then I just work my way back and get all glued in. I guess I should open this one up prior to doing this. It's glued in. It's not going to go anywhere. And with that, oops, the whiskey plank will be glued in. And that is the last piece of hole planking on the ship. And with that, we have a little ceremony. Um, it's called a whiskey plank for a reason. Once it's done, you get to celebrate. The planking crew and the ship you get a shot of whiskey. So I have some whiskey here. We get a little bit for the ship and a little bit for the planking crew. It's a long time coming, but there it is. Next, I'll get to get, be able to sand this side down, get everything smoothed off, fill it, and then finish sand it, and come back. Now, getting that whiskey plank on was a uh, major milestone. I've since gone through and filled and sanded the hull. A couple spots of pride to fill it up more in. That's fine, I'll address that later. Right now, I want to get the shear planks on and the whales on. So the shear plank is this topmost plank. It's the second layer that goes on top. Uh, normally, you have it like I have here where it's multiple cuts in it because multiple pieces of wood. It's going to be plain, painted black, so it doesn't matter. And also, since it has to fit to the stem and to the transom, you normally could actually fit the length or have a spot in the center we can cut it to like right here where the chain plate is but this back is going to get trimmed out for a fashion piece to go in there anyway so it just has to be close to it's going to be trimmed anyway so 
So I can go ahead and get these uh, pieces here on. I'll start at the bow and work my way back. I'm gonna use wood. Try. I'm gonna try the wood glue on this to see how it goes. It should stick pretty good. I mean, wood, wood, wood on wood, wood glue. I'd be good. This top piece is a thinner piece. It's what the instructions say. It is one eighth by one thirty second, so it's kind of a thin piece of wood. So it bends pretty good. No need to um, no need to soak or anything. And I get it on. I want to make sure that it is. We can stick above the the base shear plank as much as it wants, but I need to make sure that it hits my. Uh, It's my planking line as close as I can get it. That way I know it's in the right spot. Some more going back. Once these are on and dry, both the shear plank and the whales, then I can get to do some painting on this outside. I still need to thin down the entire bulwarks, but they're still a hair too thick. That will come in due course. See if I can use up all my little clamps on this side now. shooting for is to get it right along this caulking line that's right up on the top. Get some more on here. Actually, I need to come back here. Back here, it really doesn't matter where it falls off hand because this is going to get trimmed out anyway. There's going to be a piece about this wide that goes so I don't drop it. A piece about this wide that goes back here, so you can see it's going to get cut out anyway. So it just has to be close. Let's continue getting the glue on the back here. On the, excuse me, on the shear plank. And like I said, once I get these on, I can paint the shear and the whales. But I want to hit them with a the sandpaper first just to break the edge so it's not a sharp edge. I'm going to hold my glue off that end a little bit so it's just easier to trim out when I do the uh, fashion piece.
wood's nice and thin here, so it's real amicable about being bent around where I need it. Oh well, gee, if I was trying to make it, see it's a fat to transform real good. I did a good job of it. <clears throat> Take a look, see if I can see that caulking line all the way along this edge. It looks like I can. So I think I can call that good. Next will be these pieces, but I'm going to have to soak them on the front to get them to fit because these are thicker. Actually, there's one thinner one that I can put on that won't need soak because it's thin enough. So that's how those are going on. I'll go ahead and get all eight boards in place and then come back and show you what it looks like. And then we'll get to mask off this section they've already stained and paint or sand and sand then paint the shear plank and the whales. Okay, here we go. Have the, the shear plank on, the strakes on, or the whales on. And I am pretty much ready to paint this sucker. Uh, this be black, this be black, and be black down to somewhere in here. Instructions say to mark off the water line and paint down to the water line, but you know, do that and you might end up with a faint or the little bit of a wood line between your black paint and your copper plates if you don't, so I'll just paint it down to a point. I did toy with the idea of getting the stern done because there's more um, black to be painted here, but I kind of want to see how this thing looks. So I'm going to go ahead and paint these things, and once this is all painted, that's done with chapter five. I'll put the three or four coats on, sanding between the third and the fourth coat. Did a test on that, looks pretty good. But once that's done, I'll cover them with tape. And I need to make, start making bulwarks thinner and the transom thinner. This is supposed to be three three seconds inch thick before doing the inner planking. And this is supposed to be five thirty seconds inch thick before doing the inner planking. And right now it's a little thick for that. So I'll go ahead and get on to my painting here. I'm using the Model Master black paints. See how those work. They work good on another ship, so but that was just trim work. This here will have more paint on it, so I'll go ahead and get that going and see how that works. Masked off where my stain is, so I don't paint that. I do not want to paint that top edge either. First coat is just a thin coat. It's not going to make anything like really black or anything. It's just to get paint on there and soaking in. And again, I don't necessarily have to worry about this last little bit on this plank or this plank because there's another piece of wood that goes right here and this, these have to be notched out to fit them. So I'll come back. I'll get this painted and come back when I have completed all the coats and we can take this off and get a reveal and see how it looks. Here we are back. I have three coats of paint on the black parts of the ship. Almost forgot to do the, put the keel or the stern on there, but I got that on. The stern post. But I've got three coats on here. I'm not going to sand it yet because I know I'm going to have to touch it up later anyway. Went too far down here, but that's fine because from about here down on the ship, wherever the water line ends up being, it's copper coated. So I don't need this painted. Just need this up here painted. And then the copper can go over the black. So once that's done, or that that's done, we can peel off. The tape, see what we look like. There you go. Black with nice stain, the red, black shear plank, black bowsprit, or bow. Bowsprit's not on here yet. But with that, that is the end of chapter five, finally. When next I 
next video I'll have these things thinned down, the bulks thinned down, the transom thinned down, and we'll be working on getting the transom, the fashion pleats pieces, and the, the transom complete. A couple of pieces of wood that go on there, the other piece goes up and around, and fashion piece on the side and the whole top, plus the interior planking on the transom that'll be painted red. So thank you for watching. Thank you for sticking with me through this long drawn out planking, the long time between videos. And I'll see you with the transom next time.